what's going on everybody it is your boy here controversy and today guys i'm going to be doing a review to biombi's fourth album o's journey he released this i'm pretty sure last week so he like he literally just released this and this album follows up his um well it's the follow-up to his third album up which he released around may during quarantine but yeah man it's been a it's been a while since i've done like album reviews you know i haven't really been the i haven't really had the chance to just, just sit down and do a video but i'm glad that this is gonna be the first album that we're reviewing in a while but yeah o's journey let's get to it all right so i actually um i remember hearing like one of the songs to this album in june it was O's Melody, which became one of my favorite songs just because of how amazing the beat was and just because of how amazing Biambi's flow and lyricism was. I mean, just goddamn. And it still is my favorite song, actually. But yeah, according to Biambi, O is, bas he, um, o is basically a character, an, a make-believe character that Biambi made up for this album. It's, it's essentially the concept. And basically... Uh, he named this character O because it's like when you say the word O, you tend to have different emotions. When you say the word O, like O, like you know, to convey excitement, excitement, or O, like to convey like maybe shock or sadness, or you know, to basically say that O, like I got a bad grade on a test, or O, like like oh that's that's pretty interesting fact you know so yeah and he basically named this character o because this character tends to convey um these um different type of emotions in the album you know and i thought that was actually quite interesting like i've never really heard an album like i've never like i i thought it was a pretty cool concept like so i definitely have to give beyond be some applause for that i think that is like a genius concept for an album that's actually really cool you know, at first I thought it was one of Biambi's aliases, but that's not true. It's a make-believe character. But yeah, let's, um, I'm going to break, um, this song down. Like, I mean, sorry. I'm going to break this album down track by track, just going off every single track and the meaning to it, because I'm telling you this album is, like, I really do want to talk about it like that. But yeah, the first song we have is O's Melody, which is one of my favorite songs off this album. It essentially features... Uh, the beat is composed of some light percussion mixed in with some piano. It was quite an enjoyable beat. I liked listening to it. And this is basically the introduction that we get to O. Essentially, it basically, this song, and this song O feels excited. I mean, he, he basically, it shows his excitement, you know, his passion, I guess. And I really loved how Biambi's, essentially Biambi's rapping really introduces this character quite well. You know, I mean, it, it really did paint a picture in my head of, oh, just kind of walking, walking in the town, just humming or whistling or whatever. So it just really painted a great picture for him, even though I don't know what O actually looks like. So, yeah, I thought it was this was a great song. Um, props to Biambi's amazing lyricism, a great rapping, amazing flow. And I just love how and the chorus absolutely is amazing. Like, oh, my God, bro. I'm telling you, man, this is why this song's my favorite song. It's because of the chorus. And because of the B and just his rapping. But overall, the chorus makes it absolutely amazing. I mean, I just love how Biambi's voice echoes. You know, it, and it's it's just quite unique because it's almost as if his voice is being blended into the B. And I think that's absolutely amazing. So props to Biambi for that. And, you know, as the song progresses, we get some insight on um, uh, O's love interest. Essentially, he sees this girl and he likes her and he wants to make a good impression on her. He doesn't want to come off sounding like an idiot or acting like a jerk to her or whatever. You know, he wants to make a good impression on her. He likes her. And yeah, they just be, and they basically become friends. And this is going to tie in perfectly to the next song, song Psychedelic. And Psychedelic is basically, um, the definition of the word is basically like seeing or and hearing things that are not there. Essentially, you being like, essentially, it's like a hallucinogenic drug. Like, you can see it as that. And basically, in this song, it's just um, O kind of like just um, being friends with this girl. Like, they start off as friends, you know, and O just loves the time that he spends with her. He loves being with her. He loves just, you know, talking with her. And it essentially gets to a point where he can't get enough of her. You know, like a drug, he's addicted to her. 
but not in a way where he's, he's smoking or vaping, but in a way where he's, he, he, he just can't get enough of her. Like, he needs to be with her. And I love the connection that Beyond be made with, like, being addicted to something or being addicted to a drug, but not really. You know, so I love the connection he made with that. I thought that was quite genius. Um, and the beat, Psychedelic, like, this song is literally one of my favorites, too. It features a 90s boom bat beat mixed in with some light percussion and some piano which is quite unique because like i've never i mean you know you don't really hear a lot of rappers nowadays rapping over 90s boom bat beats i mean you probably do but it's just kind of rare nowadays because that was something that um that type of production was something that was more common back in the 90s especially from rappers uh such as nas and his debut album his classic debut album illmatic you know it, that was more common to see or like to hear in the 90s people rapping over boom bat beats especially in new york but yeah i, I, I thought but you know i thought the beat was cool so that's definitely one of my favorite songs and next up is the q a skit um and beyond you said that um <laughs> i saw your little i saw i saw the video you did and you said that you know you sound kind of corny in the skit i honestly think that the skit was I thought it was like okay i didn't really think it was corny or anything like that i thought it was i thought it was okay but basically in the q a skit this is basically the point where ove um tells her tells his true feelings to to his friend his girl or to this girl basically saying that hey we've been friends for a while and i've enjoyed every moment of it i love spending time with you but i just feel like we've been friends for a while and i feel like I'm ready to tell you this. Will you go out with me? And he, oh, hopes that he, she doesn't take that the wrong way. Like, you know, she hopes that this this question doesn't affect their friendship or anything like that. But yeah, oh, basically asks her out, and we're kind of left with suspense. Like, oh, what's gonna happen? Does she say yes? Does she say no? This is gonna lead on perfectly, perfectly to the next song, commencement. The commencement, it, it, the the definition of the word commencement is the beginning of something or the start of. Now, um, from the first few lines, we can definitely see that um, the girl said yes. So now they're dating, they're in a relationship, and this song is also one of my favorite songs off the album because again, just the beat is amazing, quite enjoyable, and. Yeah, the beast is essentially features uh some light percussion with some piano. So and it basically the song starts off with oh just expressing his excitement, you know, like wow, you know, she said yes, this, this is amazing. And this can also lead back on to the to the song Psychedelic, because in Psychedelic, um O felt addicted, so addicted to being with this girl to the point where he literally wanted to be with her. And essentially in commencement, he finally got his wish. He's with her now, they're dating, they're beginning their relationship, and he's essentially cured. He's no longer feeling psychedelic, you know, because he's he's with her now. The the drug is away. It's not there anymore. So yeah, man, commencement, you know, a, a pretty cool track, you know, and again, uh, the chorus was absolutely amazing. Again, I love just the way that Biombi's voice blends in with the beat. The echo is just cool and yeah that's commencement next song next the next song is dissimulation this has to be also one of my favorite songs off the album this song is like literally the my most favorite song off the album like there's a, there's a lot of good songs in, in this album but this song dissimulation takes the kick i'm sorry it just takes the kick it's because of the beat so the beat in dissimulation starts off with this chill lo-fi beat mixed in with a xylophone and essentially um you can also hear like the ocean you know you can kind of hear like this really soothing um soothing wind sounds and that makes and you can uh, and, that, and it sounds like the ocean so i thought that was pretty cool and, and it's, the beat was just honestly quite relaxing quite soothing was quite pleasant to my ears you know um this album tends to feature a lot of chill lo-fi beats which i appreciate you know it's not good to listen to songs that are some songs you know i don't like songs that have these beats that are all up in your face so i thought that was cool but yeah in the simulation it starts off with uh oh getting a call from his friend basically saying that wow you know it's cool that you that you that you know you you finally have a girl that's cool man you know that he's proud of him and that he did a good job great work and i always knew you could 
And um, I like how Biombi kind of made it look like he was like um, somebody was talking to him and he responded back. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> but one thing I don't like about this song, and this is for the friend part, when his friend starts talking, he keeps on talking about oh, it's great that you got a girl and everything. And one thing that I don't like is that Biombi makes this guy sound more like a girl than a guy because like um the guy says i can't wait i can't wait to see you guys you guys probably look so cute together <laughs> and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> like my guy bro what are you doing you're making this guy sound more like a girl like i don't know it, it just went beyond me kind of wrapped that that was just kind of corny like oh my god bro what are you doing man come on man and then also when um uh, o's friend tells him that um Tell me everything or I'll go crazy. Like, bro, you're making this guy sound... I don't know. I don't know. Like, to me, like, those those uh, those lyrics right there, they were just kind of corny. Um, just kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of corny. I mean, it, it just... Beyond me, was just making the guy sound l like a girl right there. You know, and I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, basically, you know, uh, him... O's friend just stops talking and then the beat transcends into this really soothing amazing saxophone solo that essentially goes so well with the beat like oh my god that saxophone is so unique it makes the beat because it makes the song sound a lot like way better than it already is it makes it sound really good and it already is good but it makes it sound even better like I just that that saxophone man after that saxophone is just the cherry on top to this song. This is why that's, it's my favorite song. And then, you know, after his, uh, O's friend stops talking, O comes in and just says, Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, the, the relationship is going great. And he just basically says, you know, on how they met, that she was the new girl at work. They started talking. They kicked it. O asked her out and she said yes. And then... Um, and then O stops talking. The saxophone comes in, which again is amazing. It, uh, it's a great addition to the beat like wow and then you know uh o's friend responds again saying that's awesome bro you know i'm proud of you great work and he has to go and then the saxophone comes in again and then o comes in saying that i'm dissimulating and dissimulating is lying not telling the truth basically he was basically hiding his true feelings you know so basically the relationship is not going well it's um it's turning into it's going bad you know he's basically lying and the title of the simulation could be a reference to um ks uh, one of ksi's albums because he has an album called the simulation but yeah basically always lying to his friend you know the relationship is actually not going well maybe going bad and essentially as the song is about to end oh just feels bad and he feels regret for lying and how for relying on the relationship and how it's actually actually not going good but it's going bad so yeah and this is going to play on to the next song perfectly um the next song is premonition and um i can't quite remember what the b is composed of i'm pretty sure it's like uh some piano mixed in with light percussion i'm pretty sure but premonition um this is basically oh the song starts off and it's just basically oh feeling that something bad is gonna is gonna happen you know that something bad is gonna happen in the relationship and that they don't like where think where it's headed essentially at this point and yeah you know because like essentially O is seeing like because O and you know um they've made mistakes in the relationship they've made mistakes and they haven't really fixed them they're kind of avoiding their mistakes and that's essentially the thing that's killing their relationship the fact that they're not fixing their mistakes they're just letting it slide by so yeah that's basically premonition you know O feels that something bad is going to happen and yeah then the next song up is disappointed this features like a really um eerie eerie piano mixed in with I'm pretty sure a violin, like I can't quite remember. Um, but the beat is quite basically eerie, you know, it gives a sort of sort of um a vibe of uncertainty essentially. But yeah, disappointed, it's basically just oh feeling um disappointed in the way their relationship is turning out. And he's basically disappointed in himself for the way they're acting. 
and how he couldn't save the save their relationship you know he's just disappointed on why why couldn't i save this relationship why is this happening why are we fighting why are we yelling at each other you know why are we uh being jerks to each other and he blamed himself but and but he also but he's he also probably blames his girl you know he's also he's also he's also disappointed in his girl for the way the relationship is for what this relationship has turned into and um his girl is disappointed in him as well so yeah basically this relationship starts to crumble a little bit and this the song disappointed could uh play back to the conversation that O had with his friend because his friend um in that conversation said that um there was people that um thought that or that knew that you know that O would not hold up in a relationship that the relationship that he's having with his girl would crumble and it did in fact actually crumble i mean disappointed they're basically at a point where they're just yelling at each other they're fighting with each other they're just hating each other at this point and this is gonna and then this plays on to the next song i'm sorry featuring and i'm i'm sorry if i say this wrong but iria sona i think that's how you say her name so basically this starts off with like uh the b essentially like an nf type b it's a b that i feel like nf could that nf would generally rap to i mean it features some light percussion percussion with a smooth piano so i feel like it's a b that and it's basically like an nf type b i feel like nf could rap to this you know and essentially i'm sorry this is also one of my favorite songs off the album like oh my god it's just like it starts off with Iria Sona singing and her singing is quite amazing like oh my god it's just absolutely amazing like wow and it's um and I literally and I can and um yeah and I just love how her vocals just blend perfectly with the beat it's almost as if um she she like she and the beat are one they're just connected I just just beautifully flowing through the beat it's just amazing her singing was absolutely amazing so props to iria for her amazing sing like oh my god and it just basically this song is basically just oh saying to his girl that he's sorry you know for the way this relationship has turned out he's sorry for the yelling he's sorry for being a jerk and yeah just basically regret feeling regret for the way this relationship has turned out it's bad now it's i mean i'm sorry that i couldn't that I, I that I just kind of let it go bad, and I didn't even try to fix it. And um, as the song progresses, um, there's this part where you know where Biombi is actually like towards the end. Biombi actually sings a, a little bit. I'm pretty sure with Iria Sona. And like to be honest, I got like and to be honest, it wasn't even that bad. I mean, it was just for like a little bit, but it was. I thought it was pretty good, you know, like I could see Biombi maybe being a singer, or maybe like singing his vocals sometime, you know, but basically, you know, the girl comes home towards the end. She comes home um, and she looks at O and she has her hands, her hands are over her head. She's crying and she says that she's sorry too for the way this relationship has turned out. They're both sorry essentially at this point for the way it's turned out. And this and this is actually gonna lead on perfectly to the skit and uh, but it's basically this this is gonna lead on to the skit essentially down question mark skit so basically in this skit you know the door closes and this is basically again referencing back to when um o's girl came home and you know basically o tells her hey you know i know what you're thinking and yes but be, and he basically tells her that I love I've loved every moment that I spent with you, and I'm sorry that it has to come to this. And you know, and you know, but he's basically just at this point saying that because like he he knows that she, she's gonna break up with her, that they're gonna break up, and you know, and then I and, and then I'm sorry. I basically basically saying I'm sorry that I acted this way, but I've loved that I've loved every single memory I've made with you, I've made with you. I love being with you. I've loved being with you, and yeah just basically telling her that it's fine if we break up it's like i'm not even surprised at this point but basically the reason there's a question mark is because in the end there's this in the end uh oh says wait what are you doing like 
essentially there's this point where no like it, it's not over yet so i mean essentially we're left off with this cliffhanger again like uncertainty like wait what happened like are they broken up or not or not but then that is revealed in the song stability so instability um this features uh sort of like a sort of like a piano the beat is composed of some piano mixing with some light percussion stability and basically at, at this point they're stable so you know they didn't break up of course the title could have suggest that but essentially you know O basically says that you know that, that they're back together their relationship is more stable now they're trying their best to fix it now at this point so yeah and and O just basically continues on by saying that they're basically defying all the people that and they're proving all the people wrong that said that you know that their relationship was going to crumble that it was going to be terrible and that sadness w would enslave them that you know that sadness would be the main source of why they would break up because they because they weren't happy with each other so and they're basically always basically being triumphant and saying no you guys are wrong because like we're still together you know it's basically he's calling out all the people that said that their relationship was gonna was gonna crumble and it to be honest for a lot of songs it did seem like that but sadly that was not but but um that was not the case so yeah so that's stability um the next song is turn around and i love the and i and beyond me honestly is such a clever dude man like i mean in, instead of just uh spelling like he literally spelled the word turn around backwards because it's actually denor ran rut denor ran rut that's how it's essentially that's how that's essentially how beyond be had has it on spotify and on youtube so essentially the song is called turn around but you know he spelled the word turn around backwards so it's turn around he turned he turned the, the word turn around and turned it around and spelled it backwards like you you guys get what i'm saying right but yeah definitely really clever god damn this dude and yeah basically in this song you know um uh always basically basically saying that you know their relationship is fixed now they've made it better they turned it around from going they turned it from bad and now it's good and the beat features uh some light percussion mixed in with um this violin and some piano um and i'm gonna be real honest with you this song is literally my least favorite song this is my least favorite song off the album i feel like this is essentially the worst song off the album no offense beyond me but i just can't with this song i mean like i i like the message but the b is just like bland it's i don't know i just i just didn't really enjoy the beat i thought it was boring i thought it was bland and i don't really like criticizing a song for the beat but essentially that's not the only problem i had with it it was also the chorus be <laughs> like the chorus uh, and to be honest beyond be i feel like the chorus was just kind of bland it was boring um and essentially i feel like your flow was at it was at its worst here i mean i don't know i just feel like um turn around definitely not one of my favorite songs off this album um compared to songs such as dissimulation commencement and o's melody this song is just no i just feel like the b was bland the chorus was bland but i did like the message of the album of the song basically saying how you turned it around the relationship is good now and yeah but yep that's turn around at least it's not not the best song off the album but it was but it was okay it was okay and next up is still working so this song is quite a lot better um it's it's way better than turn around it's essentially a uh, turnaround from the song turn around <laughs> i'm just gonna stop now no <laughs> yeah you, you guys probably thought like what the fuck this dude is absolutely cringy what the fuck <laughs> yeah but basically st still working it features uh, a piano beat the beat is composed of some piano mixed in with um uh mixed in with some light percussion i'm sorry i don't know why i was just thinking there and yeah and still working basically it's just oh again saying that 
that you know they're still working their relationship they're still tr making it better and that he acknowledges that yes we're not perfect okay we're human beings we do stupid things you know we're not perfect essentially and he's basically just happy at this point you know and he's he's happy that they're back together he's happy that the relationship is stable now he's happy that they're good you know and he just kind of can't believe that he tried to end this relationship because it's really going it's it was really something great and he's trying to keep it that way and essentially he's so happy that he invites everybody at work to a party and yeah and basically this he also describes his what his everyday routine is like you know he wakes up he says good morning to her she says good morning back and so on and yeah just basically He's, 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 he's expressing his gratitude that she's still here and that there's still an item and yeah that's still working this song also one of my favorite songs off the album great song um the chorus was absolutely amazing again i love the amazing echo that beyondby had in his voice it just really made the song kind of it just was quite uplifting in a way you know really kind of lifted me up but yeah that's still working Next up, we have Chapter 13, O's Journey. You know, essentially, all the songs are in chapters, but I just haven't bothered to say the chapters. I just have said the title. But yeah, O's Journey, Interlude. This is essentially like the final track off the album. Um, This song essentially ties in the entire album. You know, so basically, it starts off with this really unique beat and essentially the beat is quite different from all the beats in this album because the 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 production of this album consists of some piano of some chill lo-fi beats with some piano and some and some light percussion with a little bit of some 90s boom bap but essentially overall the production is chill lo-fi beats but this song is quite an exception to that it's like uh it's it's quite different to that because um it features a different type of beat. It's like a '80s, it's like an '80s disco type of beat. Essentially, something that you could be able to play off like a. It it is essentially a beat that you could play off a Yamaha keyboard, but yeah, the beat is quite different in this album. I mean, in this song, so the production was quite unique. I thought I, I thought it was cool, but yeah, it basically starts off with the beat and just O oh, saying that again, referencing back um referencing the song still working by saying that they're still working they're still learning and that they'll just continue growing and he's saying that this is basically not the end this is just the beginning of something good because you know their relationship is just because like they basically are starting again they're turning a new leaf their relationship is just getting started because they've now realized their mistakes and they're now taking f um putting some effort to fix them so and again, this song ties in the entire songs off the album. It's because first off, um, Beyond B, I mean, oh my God. Oh, basically says that our relationship, me and my girlfriend, our relationship is, is old. And again, and that, and that word old, you have to really pay attention to that word old, because when he says that we're old, um, he's refer he's taking a reference back to when the relationship was, you know was just kind of like crumbling it was terrible okay so i i want you guys to think of something for a second think of their relationship as like a chair but like their relationship at the start of the album so basically um the chair is basically old it's in ter it's in terrible condition it's in low quality and when you sit on it it just breaks that's how their relationship was in at the start of the album well you know, at first it was, well, I mean, if it was kind, it was good, but it was honestly just uncertain because, like, they just kind of had false hope in each other. Like, each other, they didn't know what to expect in their relationship. They were kind of insecure about the future. But essentially, their relationship was just kind of old. It was just terrible. It was in low quality. It was crumbling, especially. And you can, and this is, and this takes a reference back to songs such as uh, "Premonition," "Disappointed," "I'm Sorry." and um and down where their relationship was just kind of spiraling going going out of control and then he also says this is new this this takes reference back to songs such as stability turn around still working where basically that now but but they basically have turned a new leaf you know their relationship is now new they're starting over they're fixing their mistakes and yeah it's basically new 
but overall but then o says it's gold no but overall this relationship is new but overall it's just gold it's it's great it's unique it's it's beautiful like gold and yeah the interlude just keeps on going with the uh, 80s disco type of b i don't even know how to describe it to be honest with you and towards the end you know beyond just says I mean, oh, I don't know why I keep saying Biambi. Well, I mean, it is Biambi that's rapping, but it's O, oh, basically. O oh, just says goodbye, and his voice trails off, and then there's this, there's this robot voice that says, thank you for listening to the record. But yeah, that is my full-length review of O's journey. Overall, I thought this album was a great album. That's why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Great lyricism from Biambi. His rapping was amazing. Great bars, great metaphors and lyrics. Um, the messages were great. The production was absolutely phenomenal. There's literally... Um, and a lot of these songs in this album are great. You know, I can tell that Biambi put a lot of effort and work in, um, in this album, which I appreciate. And yeah, just amazing production great rapping from biambi um and i just love the concept of this album i mean i i can tell that biambi was really creative while making this album um essentially i've never really heard of an album consisting of in a of a make-believe character named oh i thought that was quite you know amazing and and pretty interesting so props to biambi for being creative as well well um a couple of problems that i had with this album was biambi just speeding up when it when he wasn't supposed to there was just times when he was just rapping fast and he really and essentially i can tell that that's all he was focusing on when he was rapping fast and he really couldn't contain that fast flow he always let the fast flow get in the way of the lyrics and it always created like um unclarity like there was times when i really didn't know what he was even saying like okay what is he saying you know so my advice beyond me is like if, if you want to rap fast like i mean there's no, nothing wrong with it but if you're gonna do it definitely uh work on it a little bit more and try to keep it consistent in a way that doesn't impede clarity and yeah that's how I, that's how you can definitely improve um on my part but yeah overall a great album um and yeah that is it for this review uh what do you guys think about this album have you listened to it and what do you guys think of this review do you agree do you disagree let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video